My name is Fabrice Trollet and I am Matlou Product Manager at all for tech Welcome to this Matlou Tutorial Session 4. You are going to update the model you previously designed and learn how to design conditional transitions for business rules with the Switch Interactor. Let's now talk about conditional transitions. In this model, there is a clutch pedal which is only used to test vehicles with a manual gear equivalence class. If you also want to test automatic vehicles with the same model, you have to create a new state neutral for automatic vehicles. Depending on the vehicle to test, you have a transition going to clutch state for manual vehicles and to neutral for automatic ones. So you want to configure the model depending on which type of vehicles has been selected before. First you have to create an enumerated variable. To create this enumerated variable, you have to create before an enumerated type. Go in the Types tab and create an enumerated type that you named Gearbox. This enumerated type has two equivalent classes. The first class is for manual vehicles. Then create another item clicking on this icon and the second class is for automatic vehicles. Create an input based on Gearbox enumerated and call it Gearbox to test. The choice relative to this input can only be made at the beginning of this model. You cannot change the Gearbox type during a test. Before starting the engine, you have to choose which type of vehicles you are going to test. Create a new state to choose the vehicle. Create a transition and on this one you can choose the gearbox, automatic or manual. So you have two options, either manual or automatic. Using the rectangular distribution Matlo has the choice to use both of them. Go back to higher than 50 km per hour. Depending on the choice between manual and automatic, you can go to clutch or neutral. Delete the press clutch transition and replace it with a switch interactor, the green icon. It has a minimum of two branches, you can add as many as you need. If you click on the switch, you can define your business rules. To reach clutch state, the context variable, which is the latest chosen stimulation, shall be a manual gearbox. And to reach neutral state, you can select else, as it's the only other option, but you can also define it manually. Choose the other possibility, so the automatic gear works. You can now link to neutral the same macro chain that is used in clutch the cancel macro chain and close the model with an empty step. You can generate again through the generation view. Add the new chain that you have just created, selecting it in the chain tree and select the generation algorithm. The switch interactor can be used with all algorithms, including the minimum arc coverage. Generate and check that in the first test suite, there is a consistency between the chosen stimulation
and what you can do with their gearbox. The gearbox chosen by Matlow is automatic. This test suite generated in Arcorage will test all possible transitions in a minimum amount of tests steps. And because for this test you are using an automatic gearbox, the test will pass through the neutral position. And there is no clutch pedal for automatic vehicles. The test is passing by the correct branch. The test suite continues passing in all transitions of the model. You can see that the second test suite is shorter. Check inside that there is the other possibility. Indeed, it is a manual gearbox which has been chosen. And you can now press on the clutch pedal available only for manual vehicles. It was an easy business rule here, but you could have added many stimulations with several equivalence classes. There are two test suites of different size, and it is thanks to them that you can reach the 100% transition coverage. If the first one already covers some transition, the second one won't cover again that is not needed depending on test prerequisites. For this generation, you can also reach 100% equivalence class coverage in accumulation. You currently use in this model a stimulation with an equivalence class chosen through a rectangular distribution. With Matalo choosing one or the other in the same transition, but you could also have set only one equivalence class per transition. For example, you can write manual on a transition to reach a state leading to the choice of a manual vehicle. You can do the same on the other side to select an automatic vehicle. On this transition, write that you select an automatic car. Set the stimulation on the transition and define a fixed value to automatic gearbox. With the aim of starting the engine and reusing it on both transitions. Create an intermediate state and link it to two empty transitions to avoid copy and paste and to have a single action for the engine start. What is important to understand is that you forced the choice of some equivalence class which are used later in the model. Here it was done at the beginning of the model but it could be done anywhere even after another condition. Then Matlow will automatically choose one pass of a condition checking in the model which equivalence class is previously enabled. So, you will always have a consistency in the selection of branches in your model. Generate again in minimum arc coverage and in minimum amount of test steps. Matlow is able to check stimulation with equivalence classes which are activated, so it can pass in the correct branch. This example is quite simple. But if the stimulations were after a condition, or they depend on conditions which also depends on other conditions, the minimum coverage will always find the shortest path to check 
All Transitions. If you have any question, feel free to ask them directly in the video comments. To be notified of our future Matlow videos, please like this video and subscribe to Matlow channel. Don't hesitate to connect, follow me on LinkedIn.